Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday. New messages message from Rayma Brown. Listen, say, listen to message. Whoops. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. I am on my way home from North Carolina right now. I'm about 150 miles out of Rockingham, and I stop at 150 miles for a reason. And so I thought I would tell you guys today about why I stop the way I stop and give you some pointers on how I travel because I travel so much and what apps that I use to travel. So let's go. So first things being first. 150 miles. 150 miles for me is roughly two and a half hours, uh, maybe three. It was three for me this morning because there was a wreck um, on the outer loop around Charlotte. But I always stop at 150 miles, give or take, so I can get out of the truck, I can walk around, I can take a break from driving. Back when I worked and I was really hammering out long drives, I didn't do that. I didn't, really didn't need to do that or want to do that. I'm older now than what I was then. Um, I need to relieve myself. I've got to go to the bathroom. My legs start to hurt. And when you're like me, when your mobility limited, either by prosthetics or paralysis or whatever else, I can't do finite, minute, um, movements in my seat to make myself more comfortable. It's hard for me to, if I, if I want to shift over, I have to pick myself and shift myself up and over. I can't really do it with my feet while I'm driving. So I take breaks because it's better on me, it's better on my back, it's better on my bottom because I'm sitting all the time um, and it gives my legs a break so I can get out and walk around. My knees fall asleep in the prosthetics if I sit in one place for a really long period of time. So, 150 miles, and I stop. Whether I need gas or not, I stop. Something to consider. All right, I'm about 180 miles from the last time that I turned on the camera. Made another pit stop. I went over my 150 mile mark because I needed to fuel up and I wanted to make sure I got to a, a certain point uh, uh, at my fuel level uh, before I stopped. So I like to fuel up right when I'm at a quarter of a tank. And the reason for that is, is that I have a Chevrolet and the fuel pump for a Chevy truck is in the gas tank um, and it's kept cool by the gasoline that's in it and if you let it if you let if you run your tank dry it means your pumps gonna run hot and your pump goes out so I always try and keep it at a quarter no no less than a quarter of a tank um, but speaking of the apps the one I just used is called uh, um, car report and it is a very simple uh, app and all the apps I want to talk about are for Android I do not use iOS I used to have an iPhone and I switched to Android and like it a lot better to each their own with that but the the app I use is called car report and I get it on an app store called F droid so I'll put links to all these things down below uh, in the description but with car report it's very simple I put in my mileage I put in my um, uh, gallons that I that I've used um, um, or gallons that I filled back up and then I put in the uh, um, um, price uh, for what I paid for the gasoline and it keeps up with my mileage uh, it also has places to keep up with oil changes and everything else so I can track how much money I spend on traveling and on gas and um, where I get good good gas prices at and where it's not been so good my mileage has done very well today I'm getting almost 21 miles to the gallon uh, out, of, out of my uh, 4.3 liter v6 in this truck I usually average um, about 
15 in town and, and 18 to 19 uh, on the highway, but it's done really good today for some reason, I don't know. But car report, report and you get it on the F-Droid app store. Another thing that I really, really need when I'm driving um, is an app called Drive Mode. I've tried all kinds of driving applications on Android and I find I like Drive Mode the best. Um, and what Drive Mode does is it takes, it takes your music players and your podcast players and uh, um, your um, text messaging and your phone calls and your navigation applications, it takes all those and in its own way combines them into one useful app where you don't have a bunch of buttons and you're not um, touching things back and forth on the phone while you're trying to drive. Now my phone is mounted on my dashboard um, in landscape mode and uh, um, it it, it looks like just a, a regular screen, like I have a small TV screen on my dashboard. I use a magnetic mount. Let me flip the phone upside down. Maybe you can see. So there's my mount. So that's where my phone sits. But with the drive mode app, um, I can control my navigation. I control... Uh, my music and my podcast and basically when I'm driving long distances I listen to podcasts let me adjust, adjust you again sorry I like to listen to podcasts when I'm doing um, long term driving if I'm going from an hour or less I'll listen to music but if I'm going more than an hour I'm listening to a podcast it keeps my mind more engaged um, I'm less likely to fall asleep or or get really tired um, if I'm uh, if I'm listening to a podcast. So I use Podcast Addict. Uh, my music I use uh, Amazon Music because if you have Amazon Prime, you automatically have um, the Amazon Music um, library available to you. And who doesn't have Amazon Prime? So um, anyway, Drive Mode is a great thing to have. My navigation that I use is um, uh, Waze, W-A-Z-E, and I like Waze because it gives you alerts for potholes, for traffic slowdowns, it automatically reroutes you, it tells you when you're speeding, it tells you what, uh, what uh, your uh, speed zone that you're in right now is in, and if there happen to be any police officers up ahead, it will also let you know that because all the users um, make alerts for people. So when I'm traveling, my must-haves are car report, drive mode, ways, and podcast attic for my podcast. So that's what I use um, when I'm driving long distances. Speaking of podcasts, I put a link in my last video uh, down in the... Um, discussion section in the read more um, uh, but I for, failed to mention it in the video that I was going to do it to the podcast that I was in for the Dirty White Belt podcast. Everybody's been wanting to listen to it so I put a link in there but I will also put the link again um, down below in the description of this video. So um, there's the apps that I use, a little bit of update information. Next week um, I'm driving to Louisville because they've got my legs just about ready, so I get to go next week and get, get the new legs. Some of the stuff they had ordered didn't come in on time, so, um, you know, things like that happen. So I get new legs next week, and, um, and that's that for the moment. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I haven't been home in a week. We've had a lot of rain. It's flooding, big time. Of course, there's been all kind of flooding on the news, or I've seen it on social media. 
I haven't seen it on the news in North Carolina, but I didn't realize it had flooded this much here back home. So this is uh, this is interesting. I, I'm almost home. I'll be home in about uh, five or ten minutes. I just wanted to share a little bit of flooding with you guys. Uh, so it's flooding back home. I'm almost home, safe and sound. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Here's some more. Hang on. Let me slow down. Alright, that's the last I'm going to do with that. That's not really safe to do while I'm driving. Anyway, I'm going to close out this video. And I hope uh, you can find some of the... Uh, the Android apps that I use for uh, travel and uh, driving useful. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching very much. And I will see you on the next video. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.